turn your hyperpigmentation into a beauty mark. <laughs> Why not? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about metallic, I was about to say polishes, metallic eyeshadows, which is one of my favorite things in the world. Some people love a good matte eye. Not I. Can we just excuse my hair? I'm trying to refrain from putting it up in a bun because my hair is breaking, like, tragically. Hmm. Anyway, um, so some people love a matte eye. They're just like, oh, I love a good matte eye. Not me. I want shimmer, not even shimmer. I just want a metallic eye all the time. Like, if I'm just running to the grocery store at, like, 10 in the morning, I have to put some sort of metallic shadow on I just can't resist like I'll do a matte crease and all that stuff and then it's like something takes over my body and I just have to put like steal a kitten or something on my lid I can't stop myself I love metallic eyeshadows they excite me so much like the amount of excitement that enters my body when a metallic shadow is like so buttery and so good. I don't think it's normal, but I know some of you understand. So we're going to talk about some of my favorites today. Now there are a ton of really bomb ass metallic shadows. These are just a few of my favorites. By the way, I filmed a tutorial. Tutorial is such like a harsh word. I filmed a look on this look. I filmed a video doing my makeup applying this look. You know what I'm, you guys know what I'm trying to say. I will link it down below. If it's up, if not, it will be up very soon. Let's get started. Okay, so first let me mention this L'Oreal one. I just talked about this in my haul video, which I will put in a card. It's the Galaxy Lumiere Holographic Eyeshadow in Crescent Moon. She is not holographic, but she is gorgeous. And if you don't know me, if you're just stumbling upon my video, which apologies because you're probably like, who is this psycho and why does she keep talking about her camel toe? You'll catch on. So I love any type of nail polish or eyeshadow that's like purple with a blue shift or like gold or champagne with like a little bit of a green shift or shifty things that's me like just that little hint of a shift like it just it gets me and this is like a cool toned champagne with that like greenish shift and it is so it is so damn good look oh my god it's so pretty <laughs> it's so pretty it looks so good on the lid too. Like it just looks so cool. It's just such a unique shade. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's drugstore. It's available now. Although I say it's drugstore and in your head you think, oh, I'm going to save money. This was $15. I think it was $14.99 or it was like $12.99. Like what? L'Oreal. I said it before. This is not okay. Like why are your prices so damn high? Shit, I gotta get a second job just to buy L'Oreal. Okay, another drugstore one that I love and I've loved for many years is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. I haven't used this in a while, but oh my gosh, it's so good. Now, for a long time, possibly still, I think these are some of the best eyeshadows in the drugstore. Like, they are so good. So they're in these little pots and it's almost like a pressed pigment. So you have this little stopper and you just you know you just take it off you don't you don't put that on your eye look at this color oh it's so good like that's just one swipe it's so creamy and pigmented and metallic and beautiful on the lid absolutely beautiful this is one of tara's favorite eyeshadows she wears this like every day she freaking loves it this was before L'Oreal tried to charge us $7,000 for one eyeshadow. I got your number, L'Oreal. I am going to talk about a few single eyeshadows, but I also have a few palettes that I want to mention. So this I got in a boxy charm. So this is from the brand Blink, which I wasn't really familiar with. Every single shadow in here is so good, you guys. So good. Like, just watch this. Okay, let me, ooh, let me pull my sleeve up. By the way, this shirt was sent over from Complex Beauty. It's a long sleeve t-shirt. It's super cute, and they're selling them now on their website. It says Masking Queen. How adorable. 
one, two, bitch. Oh my god. Right? Look at that eyeshadow. That is so freaking good. Now, I don't know what this retails for, but I will look it up and I'll pop it on the screen. If you're a fan of metallic shadows, you will freaking love this palette. They wear really well. They apply so beautifully. Like, they're just really good eyeshadows. Now, of course, you would have to incorporate other eyeshadows to get a full look, like mattes for your crease. I mean, unless you just want to do a full metallic look, listen, I will not judge you. Amazing. Oh, I guess you guys want to know what it's called, right? Wait, it just says, oh, here. <laughs> so this is the Electric Eyes Palette from Blink. I guess that would help. Electric Eyes Palette. I'm hoping they didn't just do this for BoxyCharm. I'm really hoping, because if they did, I'm going to feel so bad. But, I mean, Blink is a brand, so obviously they have these shadows. It might not be in this little palette, but you can get these shadows. Next, I want to talk about the Buxom Dolly's Wild Side Palette. Erin actually gave this to me. These two shades and this shade right here, so amazing. And also, just side note, the mattes in here are really good. But look how beautiful, and they're like so soft. The metallic shadows make me so excited. Look. Wait, which one didn't I swatch? This one. Look how pretty. Now, they're like a softer metallic. These are like in your face, like so foiled and amazing. The ones in the Dolly's Wild Side palette are just a little bit softer, but on the eye, they are stunning. They look very natural, like everyday appropriate, but you still get that like bling bling. They're easy to apply on your eyes. Some metallic shades, when you swatch them, they're really pretty, but then when you put them on, it's like... Where did all that metallic go? It just looks kind of like meh. So not all metallics are created equal, but this little palette is really good. Of course, we have to talk about Natasha. So I love Natasha Denona shadows. That is no secret. But this one, you guys, this is the five eyeshadow palette, but the palette is number nine. Every single shadow in here is like... They're, they're just not playing. Okay, I'm gonna do four and then we'll do the last one. In terms of metallicness, this is the most metallic that I own. Like these shadows are. Ugh. Oh, wait, let me swatch this last one before I get too in depth. Wait. It's just such a good mix of colors. Like it's cool toned, it's like a cool toned. Olivey, it's very different shades for me, but I love them so much. This shade right here, it's kind of silver, it's kind of gold, it's a little taupe. It's such a cool shade. I will list the shades down below because you can buy them in singles. I mean, you make out better getting the palette, but listen to each his own. This palette, every single shade will blow your mind. Your camel will just fly off. Like, how? How is that possible? That is so freaking good. Holy shit. I love you. Like, with every ounce of my being, I love you. A palette that, in my opinion, is very similar to that one is the Jouer Skinny Dip palette. This is incredible. I remember when this came out, I was, like, blown. Freaking blown away. Now, the only shade that I don't love in here is Bikini. I feel like Bikini is a different formula. It's kind of sheer. It just doesn't do it for me. But Midnight Swim Magic Hour is stunning. Tan Line Skinny Dip and Starlight. Starlight, you guys, just wait. Okay, here's Starlight. I mean, what? 
Metallic shadows. Do other people get this excited about metallic eyeshadows? I don't know, but you know what? I'm not even apologizing because, bitch, I freaking love them. Okay, this one is Skinny Dip. Like, you just, you just don't know what's happening right now. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, next one is Tan Lines. This is such a cool color. Look at this. They're just like so amazing. Or Magic Hour is a little chunky, but like in the most amazing way. This is actually my favorite one in the palette. Look at that freaking eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. And Midnight Swim. It's just so good. Let me show you bikini though, because bikini, I don't know if they meant it, if they meant for it to be a little bit more sheer. I just don't understand it. I want to love it, but I just don't. Okay, here's bikini. I mean, it's still really pretty, but do you see what I mean? Like you have all this like bang, bling, punch you in the face, and then you have this like psh, Either way, this palette is just so good. I do have a code for Jouer. It's YWP15 if you're interested. This is just incredible quality. It looks so good on the eye. I think I like metallic shadows so much because you still get that like really like blinged out look without having to wear glitter. So it's easy. You just dip your finger in and put it on. That's how I do it. Some people stick a brush in and I just cringe. Because I just feel like you get better payoff with your finger. That's totally just my opinion. But anyway, this palette is so, so good. Oh my gosh. Jouer killed it with this one. Killed it. I feel like I'm so excited that I'm like out of breath. Why do metallic shadows do this to me? Like, why do you do this to me? Bikini. You don't deserve the spotlight, girl. No, I'm just kidding. She's just, she's just a little soft. She's soft, okay? These are like badass bitches that you see on the street, and they will cut you. She's hiding in the corner. I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's so sad. It's like I'm losing a member of my family. I have to mention my bae. Does anybody say bay anymore? I say it. The Morphe 35O Shimmer. There's a Morphe 35O, which I've showed you guys. I've hit pan on numerous shades. I freaking love that palette. Then there's the Morphe 35O Shimmer and the Morphe 35O Matte. <laughs> so I have a few favorites in here. This one, this one, this one. Those are probably my top three. Let me just, let me just show you. Look at that. Mm-hmm. 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 Like, look how reflective they are. They're, like, so shiny. You do have to be careful with some of them because they're, like, so soft and creamy that you don't need to, like, dig into them. You just need, like, a little... But look how pretty they are. And every shade in here is like that. Let me just... I'm just randomly gonna grab a couple. Okay, we'll do these three. Like, look how good. Ooh. That just brings me so much joy. This is, this whole video is just me staring at the camera like, hmm. I just love them so much. So this is an amazing, amazing palette. Now, I would recommend the 35O, just like the original one, because you get mattes, you get shimmers or metallics that you can totally do so many different eye looks. But if you just want some bomb ass metallic shades, girl, this is incredible and it's so inexpensive. And I have a code for Morphe. It is YWP if you would like to use it. If not, I still love you. Okay, last but not least, I'm, I'm just like casually jumping into this big ass palette. This is from Color Green, by the way. I purchased this, I don't know, like a month or two ago. You can fit so many freaking single eyeshadows in here, but it's so massive. But I, I'm kind of obsessed with it. Look at this thing. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys my most favorite metallic eyeshadow of all time. A lot of you already know what it is. Steal a Kitten. 
This is the ultimate, like, original OG gangsta metallic shadow. This bitch was cool before it was cool to be a metallic shadow. It's just so good. It's just so good. Look at that girl. Look at that girl. Mm. So good. I had to do it twice. She's just so pretty. And there's something about the tone that it's very bright when it's on your eye. I'm not into like yellow gold. I want like a really bright light champagne shade and if it's cool toned that's even better that's just like what i prefer for my lid i love this shade so much my most favorite metallic eyeshadow ever but it is so soft i can't travel with it i never take it with me when i go out of town which is very sad because i love it so much but it's just so soft you just have to be careful with it but it's so good and then my other all-time favorite, this is my most used metallic shade of all time. In the spotlight from Makeup Geek, I wear this pretty much every day. Like when I just do my regular super quick makeup, I always, always, always put this on my lid. It just, it's unbeatable. Other than Steal a Kitten, it's totally unbeatable in my opinion. Look at this. It has kind of like a, like a peachy pink tone to it. But on the lid, there's, there's nothing better. When I say there's nothing better, this is my second or third one. I feel like this might be my third one, and I'm about to hit pan on this bee. She's so good. She, if you don't own In the Spotlight, you have to buy it right now. Go to Makeup Geek and buy it. You will not regret it. It's just the prettiest tone. Another one that's really good from Makeup Geek is Starry Eyed. This one's more like taupey gold oh my god oh yeah yo, 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 yo. no this is my heaven right here this is my super bowl <laughs> you guys don't know like how excited i could do this forever like i could have a marathon of like six days non-stop filming where all this girl does is talk about metallic eyeshadows i could do that so in the spotlight steal a kitten the two in the middle and then starry eyed these are the only three that you need in your life. Like I say that about everyone that I've talked about. But there, there's just so many good ones, you guys. Look how pretty. Like, look how they just catch the light. Okay, the last one that I want to mention is from Love Lux Beauty. This is in the shade Gypsy, you guys. This is the most gorgeous, like, violet, purple. It's such a cool shade. Look at this color. It's so bright and beautiful. But it is, she is not playing. Look at this. It's like a pressed pigment, I swear. It kind of has like a blue shift to it. There's a little bit of blue, like reflect, and it it, it just, oh God. I gotta swatch it again, I love it so much. Oh my goodness, look how pretty that is, it's so good. You can kind of see on my fingers how it has like that bluish shift to it. Can you kind of see that? <sighs> I love this so much and I never hear anyone talk about these. These are my two favorites. This one is in the shade Illusion. This is a really cool color. But like you barely touch them and they are so just so metallic and so intense. It's crazy. It is crazy. Oh my gosh. I just love this color so much and the formula is freaking amazing. So Love Lux, girl, you did that. Total side note, these new highlighters that I got from Pixi, they're called the Glowy Gossamer Duos. I have two of them. Subtle Sunrise and Delicate Dew. They have that transparent thing. Kind of like my NARS Bonk to Sable Trio that you guys know I freaking die for. These have that same, like they're so pigmented and intense, but the formula is almost like... I don't know, like transparent. It's just like such a thin yet so metallic formula. That wasn't even proper English, but you know what I mean. Like, look at that. That one is Subtle Sunrise. Um, Delicate Dew is my favorite. I have to swatch it for you because like she would feel so left out if I swatched her sister and not her. So just give me a sec. Okay, here we go. Mm. 
And you very well could wear these as metallic eyeshadows. Like just because it's labeled as a highlighter doesn't mean you can only wear it as a highlighter. Keep that in mind. I wear highlighters as eyeshadows. I wear eyeshadows as highlighters totally acceptable. But they have that formula that I love. I feel like these are a drugstore version of my NARS Bonk to Sable palette, which by the way is coming back. Thank you, Jesus. My prayers have been answered. I love all metallic shadows, but there's a cer certain formula that I look for and everything that I showed you today has that Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you guys today. If you would like me to do a part two, I could totally do that because there are so many metallic eyeshadows that I love. Let me know what videos you guys want to see. If you would like me to do like a top five series or like a drugstore series, I'm totally open. My schedule is totally open. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I was playing with metallic shadows the other day and I'm like, I just need to film on some of these because they're so good. I need to share them with the world. So hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Let me know your favorite metallic shadows down below. You guys already know this. So yeah, I'm going to go. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Bye. This is from the blank. This is from the blank. This is from the blank. Oh, wow. This is, mm, this is from the brand, this is from the brand Blank. This was, so this is for, oh my god, what is wrong with me? You have this like greenish, coppery, bronzy shade, gold, silver, bikini. Oh my gosh, this video gave me like heart palpitations. <laughs> Whew! So many good eyeshadows in one video. How is that possible? Um, you're not ready for this. No, you're not ready for this. Are you ready? You're not ready. I can't show you. You're not ready. Okay, fine.